Stephen, looking back at the Drogheda game, what do you think of the team's performance overall? Uh, I thought for a large majority of the game we were very, very good. Um, we switched off, got sloppy for 15, 20 minutes of the second half and uh, obviously gave away a really poor penalty. Um, but performance was, was good. We had chances, we hit the post. Um, but to be fair to Drogheda, they, they, they hung in there and they got the penalty and, and they deserved the, the point in the end. Were you pleased with our tempo and general play going forward in the first half and how we took the early lead through Graham's penalty? Yeah, some of our play was very good. Like I said, we, we played with a high energy, uh, high tempo uh, for the majority of the game other than first 15, 20 minutes of the second half. Um, so yeah, pleased with, pleased with a lot of aspects of our, of our play. Draw had to equalise with a penalty of their own. What could Rovers have done better in the second half not to let them back into the game? We just started really slowly. Um, we, we made some really, really sloppy mistakes from our point of view. Our decision making was poor and, uh, and we avoided uh, unnecessary pressure and, and in the end it, it cost us. We rallied the last 20 minutes hitting the post near the end and there were headers from Hoare and Gaffney. There were plenty of chances to win it, in, it wasn't there? Yeah, we had chances but again um, we didn't take them and, and, and we've, uh, we've got to win games 1-0 as well. We can't be giving away the goals that we did and, and uh, be sloppy for, for 15 and odd minutes because um, against any team in, in this league you, you'll get punished. It was great to have Dylan Watts back on the bench but none of our subs were used. Did you consider making changes during the game? Yeah, of course. Uh, it was uh, Dylan was the obvious one that I would have liked him to get on but uh, we had to be really careful. He'd only trained for a day uh, before the game and, and the last thing we wanted was a uh, reoccurrence at the injury and, and have him out for, for another five or six weeks. So, uh, thankfully, he, he's trained well this week. It's one win each this season so far in meetings between Rovers and Dundalk and now Vinnie Perth is back as manager. What do you expect from them in Tala? One thing that hasn't changed with Dundalk, with, with all the changes up there in the back room, one thing that hasn't changed is that they have a, a group of, of really talented players and, and, and that's always been the case. So, uh, it's going to be a difficult game. Um, we, we know that um, they come a quality uh, in their team and, uh, and we'd be ready for that. Was everyone disappointed to drop points in our last two home games, especially with the fans back? And are you and the players eager to respond in a big game now with Dundalk? We're always disappointed when we drop points, whether it's home or away. We're always disappointed because, um, like I said, we, we go out every week to, to try and win uh, three points. Um, the, the disappointing thing with the two home games is that we're obviously ahead um, and, and we've let points slip but again there's there's big learning and that for us and, and, uh, and we move on and, and uh, we try and get three points tomorrow night Do you expect Christmas can Sean Cavan and Joey O'Brien to make the squad for Friday's game? We'll have to check on Chris but all the, everyone else is back How great is it to have Richie Towell officially a hoop today? Yeah great uh, he's been great since we got him in Richie um, he adds so much to the group He's um, he's a real leader, and uh, yeah, look forward to, to getting him going. Is Richie available for selection tomorrow? And is anyone else injured or suspended? Richie's available. Um, we're just hoping that the international clearance comes comes through, which we shouldn't have an issue with.